So, uh, yeah, doing this one take. Hopefully. We'll see. We are at the uh, sewer and crit, um, doing the 7 o'clock, the one twos, and I am in a break that is just getting caught. Um, went for a couple streams in this break, or at least I, I put myself in position for a couple and yeah. it, it wasn't going to happen. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't like burn that last match trying to get it, but I still, uh, still spent a lot of energy. And we are just going into three laps to go. Coming up this climb, if you've never done this race before, it uh, has like a 60 foot vertical. I think it's like maybe 10% right here. Climb. Uh, and you do that like, I don't know, once every minute and a half. Um, yeah, it's a good uh, good little push coming into the, the finish line here. Kind of like flattens out for a second and then just goes up a tiny bit right before the finish line. Oh, look at that, a lens wipe. That's how you know I'm thinking about you, uh, my dear viewer in the race. I'm like, I'm going to wipe my lens. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the last time I remembered to do that. You can see it was raining. We uh, started the race in the... No, no, actually, no, it was wet the whole time. The race previous started in the dry, and the rain started coming down halfway through, and as soon as the rain hit the road, people started crashing. <laughs> but, you know, then it stopped. You know, like, people just didn't expect it to suddenly get a little sleep. Uh, every time we come around that one sharp corner, there's just that one corner in the, the course. Every time we came around that one sharp corner, um, I would feel either my back tire or my front tire slip just a tiny bit. There's a little bit of paint there that'll, uh, that'll get you. I don't think anybody went down in this race, but man, it was close. As you can see here, I'm, uh, I was pretty beaten up by being in the break, so now I'm tail gunning off of this, uh, this group here. And, uh, I don't, I don't think I actually realize that it's three to go right now. I just know that it's getting, getting towards the end of the race. Um, and I'm trying to recover as fast as I can. You can see my, like, my heart rate is down to, like, a, like a zone two area. So I did a good oh, job at, like, going from one lap being pretty dang gassed to, uh, down to, like, a endurance heart rate. Uh, but my legs are still pretty beat up. I think, actually, Will's coming next to me in the race. I have just one teammate in the race. Um, and he came up next to me and asked how I was feeling, and I told him that I was, uh, I was pretty gassed from being in that break and going after the preems, and so I told him he might be our sprinter tonight. Ugh. Yep. Racing bikes. It's a lot of fun. I like this race a lot. It's got a good environment. Whenever the weather's good, there's just, like, tons of people watching and yelling at you as you're going around this corner up here. It's a great place to, uh, cheer the racers on because we have to go pretty slow around that corner. You get a good chance to tell us your life story before we go back the other way. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the sign, two to go. And so, uh, I'm not really in good position for two to go. I bet you that, uh, there's a lead-out train or two on the front right now. Um, luckily, there's just not this, that much of this course where that makes a big difference. Um, you know, because this hill kind of slingshots you through the flat area in the bottom, and so if there's anybody going fast on the front, there's going to be like a really strong whip in the back. Slingshot effect. Um, <laughs> but you can see here, there's like a big gap that forms. Thankfully, this Gene Johnson rider closes it down for me, but everybody's everybody's soft pedaling up there. We're going to catch them in just a sec. And that's, uh, that's good for me because that lets me fix my position a little bit. Now, I should have moved up right here. I don't know, I don't know why I sat back here, but I should have put myself, like, fifth wheel, like, right now. But now it's too late. Now I'm boxed in, and we're about to go up the hill again. And, uh, I'm not, I'm still in pretty bad position. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was just, I, I was probably just tired. You know, my legs hurt. I've been doing this for an hour, going 700, 800 watts up this dang hill. Here I am trying to make up position on the hill. That's a terrible idea, but it's getting to be kind of too late. Here we're coming through the start finish again. And that's 
rings the bell, we are on the last lap. And I have oh, that's super one, sketchy. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a billionth wheel. I'm a billionth wheel right now. So I'm thinking about making up a few wheels on the right here, but it's too late. You know, the people on the front are just like railing it now. So, uh, you know, if I were to go out in the wind at 42 miles per hour, I would have to put out a lot of watts to get around to anybody. And I need all of those watts for the last time on this hill. Regretfully, I'm gassed and it's not going to work for me, but, you know, you always want to put your best foot forward. Maybe everybody else is gassed, who knows? Every time you're tired, you should ask yourself, maybe everybody's tired too. I don't feel too bad on this hill. There's like three seconds between me and the lead, and those are going to be some strong sprinters. Yeah, go Will! And there's go, Will. This is Will in the blue get jersey it, here, calling out to him, telling him to get <laughs> get this there. down for me. Come on, Will, get it. And I kind of realize here that it's probably not going to happen. Mount Rider leaves the inside open, and so forth. Like you do. I'm going to get one more place. I don't think this even put me into the points, but, you know, you do your best.